This video is brought to you by Practical Music Theory for the Rock Guitarist, my new book which is a comprehensive guide to all aspects of music theory necessary for playing rock guitar. From blues to the cycle of fifths, from understanding and using modes to choosing the right notes for a melodic solo, from pentatonic scales to chord construction and keys, it's all covered in a clear and concise manner. With accompanying video demonstrations, jam tracks and tabs, you learn to use the knowledge you gain in accessible ways that make sense for less than the cost of a few guitar lessons. Check out the link in the description for more details. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition, as always. I do hope you're well. Today being Wednesday, we're dealing with a viewer's question. Uh, so before we get into what we're talking about this week, I'll just mention that if you have any questions or queries of a guitar or music related nature, then get in touch. You can see the website address there at the top of the screen. There's an email form there. Use that. Send me a message. Uh, or you can leave a comment below this or any of my other videos. Or you can use my email address, jrguitartuition at gmail.com. And this week's question comes from a chap called Nev. Uh, and uh, apologies, Neb, but I couldn't find your email. It's been that long since you emailed me, and I've taken this long to get round to doing it, so apologies for that. Uh, but basically what Nev was asking me was all about guitar cables, guitar leads, whatever you want to call them, these things, the things that connect our guitar to whatever we're plugged into. And um, he was asking, uh, you know, does the lead, does the cable that you use, um, you know, have any impact on the sound that you get. And, uh, well, you know, it's one of those sort of common sense things that you think, well, yes, you want a, a good quality cable because you're going to get a better sound and, um, you know, less noise and all of that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd put that to the test. Uh, I'm using three different leads here. I'm using uh, just a standard three meter kind of pro quality um, guitar cable, instrument cable, one of these kind of things. And um, I'm also using one of these, just a short little Amazon patch lead um, that you usually use for connecting pedals together. How did I get this from my guitar to the input of the amp? Well, we're going to talk about that in a moment. And the other lead uh, that we're going to be uh, putting uh, to the test is one of these, just one of these cheap little um, free cables that you get when you buy a budget guitar, Harley Benton, Faisley, that kind of thing. These are the three leads that we're going to be checking out. And in order to make sure that it is a proper scientific test where there's no variation in the playing, what I did was I recorded a solo into my looper pedal. And then um, the uh, the three different solos, or the same solo that you're going to hear three times uh, coming up, is just the looper pedal going from, well, the output of the looper pedal going into the input of the Blue Guitar Amp 1 Mercury Edition on its usual setting, the Vintage Channel. And then the output of that, the recording output of that, is going into uh, the interface, and then it's getting recorded in Reaper. I basically played the solo uh, along with um, along with the jam track in Reaper, but I didn't record it. Uh, it was, well, it was getting recorded. It was getting recorded into the looper pedal, and then just kind of hitting record on on the PC over there and, and hitting the switch on here. That was how I kind of synced things up. So let's take a listen to the three leads, starting with the Pro Quality instrument cable, then going uh, to the patch lead, and then going to that uh, cheap and nasty, or is it cheap and cheerful little freebie lead that came with the last. Harley Benton or whatever it was that I bought. Here's how they stack up.
So could you hear any difference in uh, the quality of those three cables? I've got to tell you, I don't think I can. I really don't. And that was a, like a big surprise. I was expecting, for instance, this lead here to be crackly and noisy and, you know, um, just not as good, you know. But I just, I just couldn't hear any difference uh, in the tone whatsoever there between any of the three leads um that's not to say that this lead is as good as you know a pro quality one one of the main reasons i um you know i think it, cheap leads are a false economy is because you know things like this are known to kind of uh, have problems with longevity and reliability so yeah get a decent lead but i'm just not hearing anything there which um indicates that the sound coming down the pipe from this lead is vastly inferior to the sound coming down the pipe from this lead but maybe maybe it was all kind of hiding in the mix maybe all of the kind of i had a bit of delay and reverb on the guitar tone there added in reaper um you know and there was a like other instruments going on maybe that disguised some of the uh, discrepancies between the leads well let's listen to the three leads again you're going to see uh, you're going to hear the solo uh, that i played absolutely dry no effects whatsoever apart from the um the gain that's you know on that's kind of on the amp that um, is printed basically that's uh, that wasn't added after the fact but all of the kind of reverbs and delays and everything that you heard in the in the mix there uh, they're all stripped away just the guitar by itself uh, coming down the pipe uh, from the um, from the looper pedal uh, without any adornments whatsoever you'll see which lead is which let's have a listen So even on the, like the, the couple of seconds of silence before the solo kicks in at the beginning of each one of those takes, you know, even with this lead, you'd, you'd be expecting there to be hiss and noise and everything, and there just wasn't. Um, admittedly, I did have the uh, the noise gate on the blue guitar amp one on switched onto its softest setting, which I always kind of have it on there anyway, but um, you know that does let some noise through because it's a softer setting if, if it's there to be let through and it just it just wasn't so um this has been an eye opener for me i've always espoused the idea that a good quality lead is part and parcel of the tone that you are getting uh it's going to uh, play a big well not miss maybe not a big part but certainly a part in um you know how good your final guitar sound is um and certainly based on the evidence that I've discovered here, I'm going to have to rethink that, I think. Um, you know, again, good quality leads will last longer and they'll take more abuse. And, you know, you're not going to be um, having that dodgy connection, that <coughs> kind of sound coming from your guitar's output jack um, at, at any point or less likely to anyway than you would with 
something like this. But in terms of the sound quality, you tell me. Did you hear anything that I'm not in terms of the um, the quality of the, uh, the the recorded guitar tone? Uh, maybe it's just my muddy old ears. I don't know, but I just genuinely couldn't hear any appreciable difference in the quality of the tone on any of the examples. And that. Is pretty much the video for today, folks. I will just mention that uh, the solo that you heard me play, I've tabbed that out. Uh, that's both in Guitar Pro and PDF formats. And uh, you'll get the jam track as well that I was playing over. All of that's up on my Patreon page. There's the address. Link in the description. As I'm sure you know by now, it's $3 or £3 a month. Can you hear your Dougal barking in the background? $3 or £3 a month. And you get access to all of these goodies that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are also down in the description. But that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it uh, useful and informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time we drink beer and talk about stuff guitars music probably cables this week as well um it's a great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now Thank you.